Hello friends, it's Sandra Costello here, and I am with Kelly Coffey, who is a friend and a client, and we're going to just talk a little bit today about Kelly's experience, or I should say experiences, with me having her photograph taken and what that's been like, and you know what she wants to share with you who are thinking about doing this, but maybe a little nervous and unsure. So Kelly, hello. Hi there, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Look, it's so gorgeous. Thanks. Yeah. Um, will you tell folks just a little bit about who you are? Sure. Uh, so I'm I'm a Western Mass uh, transplant from Queens. Uh, I'm 40. I have two little girls and a house that is almost as old as the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> uh, and every time I have to repair something, I remember that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh my gosh. I own my own business, and, uh, and I am uh, devastated by everything that's happening in the world right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, wow, you did that so well in, in a nutshell, and you did it so in such an uplifting manner. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, can you tell folks what, what you do for uh, yeah. work? Uh, by trade, I am a personal trainer, and uh, I'm also a blogger. Mm -hmm. I, I blog at, it's called strongcoffee.com, uh, I am uh, more recently, in the last five or six years, an online wellness coach. Uh, one of the pieces that I wrote went viral some years ago, and, uh, and it, it generated a lot of interest from people far and wide who I didn't have, who didn't have access to my studio. So I created a course that is now what I spend the lion's share of my work time uh, focusing on and supporting people around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so for folks who understand what a blogger does or having a business online, it typically means that you need photographs to share and show yourself. And that's some of what you and I have had a chance to do together when you've come to me for photographs. Um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to get into first was how we began working together. And when I first met Kelly, it was five years ago, maybe? Ish. Yeah, uh, it was a while ago. And I had just really started photographing women. Kelly and I had gotten to know each other. I heard her story and was really intrigued and super impressed and wanted her to come into the studio to have her photograph taken. And she said yes, and I was grateful. Will you talk a little bit about what your first experience was like with me? <laughs> so uh, I, I, I should say that, that it was you who approached me uh, I think because you had seen some of the images that I was putting up online and thought that perhaps I could represent myself better uh, than what I was using. Well, let, let me also say, yes, probably. That's always like, you know, that always uh, initiates things for me. But I also found your story really compelling. And yes. I wanted to get to know you a little bit more and then portray you in those photographs in a way that I felt was missing. Yeah. Well, so, and my story is relevant to this. So I, I am, I, I had been up until the moment that I met you, someone who did not like to have her picture taken ever at all, which m might not make sense to someone watching this right now, but I used to be over 300 pounds and I like so many women who struggle with their weight was not thrilled about what I looked like in photographs. And, uh, and so the, even the idea of allowing my picture to be taken at all mm. was new and novel um, at that point. And, and you know, I, I spent, any time that I did allow my photograph to be taken, it was in all black. And it was, you know, often only my face and only at a very specific angle. You know, there's only a handful of pictures 
from before I lost weight where I, I looked at them and actually enjoyed looking at them. Mm. So uh, when you reached out to me and uh, I think in your first email to me, you said, you know, I want you to look pretty. I was like, why did you know, like it, it just, <laughs> And, and, and again, like I realize what I look like now and someone watching this might be like, oh, big deal, you know, cause you know, I just, yeah, you look great. Yeah. You know, now, but, but those, how I felt about myself and how I felt about having my picture taken and how I felt about looking at pictures of myself, that, that was deeply embedded and I was not interested. And, uh, it was because you and I had friends in common. Mm that I said, sure, you know, I'll take that chance. Like I'll come into your studio and I'll bring a bunch of not black clothes <laughs> and I'll roll the dice and see what happens, you know? Yeah. And uh, I walked in to your studio and you were, you were and continue to be, Sandra, this radiant, loving, just, just force like you I remember your smile and your enthusiasm I want to reach out right now you are so <laughs> you are so purely good like I could sense it from the moment I walked in the room and I just wanted to grab you and pick you up off the floor and spin that's you. happened <laughs> I'm sure it did because I have impulse control issues you know what I'm saying um and and you you know, I, I remember I had a, this bag full of clothes and I just opened it and I said, you tell me, you tell me what to put on. Like, I am your clay, you mold me as you will, you know, and you picked this, this blue and white button down shirt yeah. that I bought because it was lovely, but it wasn't really my style. And I put it on and you said, do you mind if I put this fan on over here to <laughs> sort of give your hair some, some yeah. life? And I was like, man uh sure you know i'm i'm in for a penny in for a pound let's do this like blow my hair and then you took maybe four pictures of me and so it was within the first minute of me being in front of your camera and you like i think it was that i was being photographed i know i know it was that i was being photographed by you and you were so delightful and so wonderful and so positive and so enthusiastic and excited. Like you made my face exhibit joy mm -hmm. and, and, and like pretty in a way that I had never, my, my face had never done that before. And, and, I, and I want to jump in real quick because I want to just say, like I have goosebumps thinking about that shoot because um, it was so special. And I think that, uh, like, you know, I'm sitting back and I'm listening to you and I'm smiling to myself and I'm not I'm trying not to overreact too much because it's always nice to hear nice things about yourself. But what I remember in that moment is that pure light on you. And I saw you and we knew each other a little bit, but I really saw you in that moment. And Anyways, I'll let you continue, but I, I really felt like I wanted to say that because it, it was not just one-sided. Well, well, thank you for saying that. Yeah. That's very sweet. <laughs> That's very on brand. <laughs> but yeah. I, remember, I remember you taking those first handful of pictures and then going, oh my God. And I said, what? And you came over and you turned your camera around and you've got that little viewfinder thing on your camera and you showed me the image that you'd just taken of me. And I remember thinking, oh my God, who is that? You know? Yeah. It was this like, I was beautiful. And, and, and I can honestly say that you know, and, and I had, I had solved my weight problem some years prior to that. And I had had pictures taken that I was, you know, happy enough to have taken and happy enough to look at, but I did not understand myself to be beautiful until you showed me that picture on that little tiny screen. 
And I remember that my breath caught in my chest mm. and I was just, I was flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. What, what a nice feeling to, to feel that way about yourself. Yeah, it was, it was an amazing moment. It was an amazing moment. It was also a little weird because, because it, you know, it's not really how I look in the day to day. And so I was like, who the hell is that? You know, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty spectacular. You are an artist. You are, you are, you. you have talent unlike any photographer I've ever met. And I've met many. Well, you know, what's interesting is that people have said to me over and over again, over the years, that I am more than just a photographer. And at first I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm a graphic designer too. I have those skills. And I, I don't think that's what they meant. And being able to have conversations like this with clients who have had a really positive and transformational experience allows me to see myself as well in this process. And that uh, I really love going deep with my clients. And all that really means is finding an opening where you really get to appreciate yourself, be yourself, and like let everything just unfold in such a beautiful way. And I love when those moments start to show themselves because like in the beginning, it can be hard. Sure. People can feel very nervous about like what's gonna happen or not happen. Yeah. And we tell ourselves these stories. Yeah, no, I was, I was extremely self-conscious. I was nervous. I was hesitant. I was skeptical. And, and it, not even a minute into it, you put all of that to rest. You put it all at ease. It was pretty amazing. Can you talk a little bit about who you think, who you think is looking for me? Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> uh, you know, speaking for myself, anyone who, who is afraid of what the result will be mm. is the right person for you, it should have their picture taken by you. Yes. Uh, you have, you have uh, uh, talent, skill, I don't know, magic ability to know, you know, we all know, like, you know, you got the good side and the bad side. Sure. You know, you got the, you got the perfect angle and that there's some light when you're just, you, you look good. And then some yeah. light where you just look like a friggin' troll from a cave. Like we all have that. Yeah. And what you are is someone who, you know, like, like anyone who has been working like a dog on mm. a skill forever, mm. like, mm. A, like you're, you're the, you're the, you're the, the magic Johnson of photography, <laughs> you know, you like, or whoever, who's the big basketball player now? Uh, Dude, uh, you're asking the wrong person. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sports yeah. ball, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But like, you don't even, you, I can tell that you don't have to think about it. Mm. Like, you know when the angle's not right. You know when the lighting's not right. You know when the outfit needs to get changed. You know when, you, you know, just like a three foot shift in a certain direction. Yeah. Like, you know how to make the magic happen and you don't even think about it. You're just like moving and on it. And it's a very much like a living, moving, breathing experience. And your brain is doing calculations and understanding women's faces and mm -hmm. expressions. And, and you, you make it as beautiful as it is. A, a just you, you make it beautiful without even thinking about the fact that you're doing that. It's like a dance. It, it is, is a dance. <clears throat> it is like a dance, how we connect with each other. I've been in a room with you for an hour, maybe two hours at a time. And the whole time you're moving, you're, you're looking, like you're synthesizing all of the yeah. elements. And, and it's seamless. Like you don't ever pause. You're like, okay, now and this and that and do and, and okay, hold and little and or if you need me to, to brighten up, you say something that makes me brighten. You don't say mm. brighten up. You don't say smile wider. <laughs> no. you, 
you bring that out in me and i can tell like i've 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 known many of the women who you've taken photographs of and you bring things out in us just by being you that are beautiful and then you mm. like capture that and it's 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 natural and it's beautiful and it's seamless and it's like it is like magic you are like magic well, you know, it makes me happy hearing this because I think about all of the women that we know and, and have mutual friends around. And I think about when I photograph them in a similar way and how, like how happy that makes me to watch them come alive. So, so you know, we've, we've talked a lot about the emotional part, the spiritual part, the transformation of a shoot. Let's talk a little bit about the business end of things. Mm. And what I want to know is how have the photographs that you and I have taken together, how have they been received by your clients? Uh, people, people, uh, people love your images. I mean, your images are now who I am mm. in the online world. You know, I mean, I do, I do videos a lot, so, so it's not exclusively your images, but, you know, often the first thing that anyone sees of me is an image that you took, and, and it helps them to, you know, first of all, know that I am a professional. Yes. Right? Yes. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I hate to say it, but selfies don't cut the mustard no like there's there's too many images there's too much noise like in order to stand out yeah. in any way like you need to put your your best face forward Absolutely. and and you have given me the ability to do that and so you you have helped me to elevate the quality of what people first come in contact with when they first come in contact with me and that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think that sometimes when people are either getting started or they're unsure, they are curious about making the investment in the time and themselves to have professional photographs taken. And they don't know what to expect. You know, they're curious, like, do I really want to do all of this? And some people say, well, I don't want to do a big production. I think that's an excuse. I think that that's ridiculous. I think it's the most awful thought you could think. Because let me tell you what, like we are all aging. I don't know if you knew, uh, uh, headline, we are all aging. I, like, got a bir I got a big birthday next week, I know it. Do you? Yeah, Happy yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, it is, the moment is now. Like the moment is now to capture your beauty because you, I mean, and everybody has the experience of looking back at a photo of themselves 20 years ago when, you know, and they can remember thinking, oh, I'm awful. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. And then, you know, you look back and you're like, I was beautiful. Look at me. I know. I know. Look My sisters me. and I talk about this all the time. Why was I worried? Why was I thinking that? What was I thinking? That's crazy. You're going to have the exact same experience in 20 years from now. But if you've got a picture that Sandra took of you now, mm. like you will have captured your, 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 your best, like most golden, perfect self. Like you'll be more grateful for that image than like the heirloom China. Yeah. Um, you know, it's Absolutely. just like, I think about it now. And it, this is only five or six years ago that you took those first pictures of me. But I am so excited that like my great grandkids who I may never meet will be able to look at the images that you took of me and be like, that was my great grandmother. Wasn't she beautiful? Well, I, I think that that is one really big piece of this. I mean, women may come to me for business reasons, but I think that any photographs that you make a commitment to take are really, really important to have, not just to document your business and you know what you're doing, but to also document where you are in your life 
and to leave those images for the people who love you. Yes. Yes. And that includes yourself. Yes. It really does. I, I just uh, a couple of weeks ago photographed a woman who's in her early 70s and she had been talking with her daughter last year and saying like, oh, I'm just going to go to JCPenney and I'm just going to have a picture taken of myself um, because she felt like she was getting older and she really wanted a beautiful photograph of herself, which, you know, to start, I think is very forward thinking because mm -hmm. a lot of the time I hear women say, why would I want pictures of just me? I'm like, well, I can think of a million reasons, but um, so when, so then I saw her and her daughter by chance last year, and then her daughter reached out to me and said, I know what I'm giving mom for Christmas and, you know, purchased a portrait session and we did that. And it was so beautiful to watch her prepare for this, to choose clothing, to know that she was going to have her makeup done, to be taken care of. And then to come back and see the images and say, wow, look at me. Yeah. It was so, it really, it's so heartwarming every single time. And I think it doesn't matter what age you are. Like you said to me at one point, the best time to have your picture taken was five years ago. And the second best time is right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's funny that you say that uh, she she bought the portrait session for her mother. Like, I honestly, I can't think of a cooler gift to give a woman that you love mm. who maybe has a hard time loving herself yeah. than images of herself taken by you. Like, I can't, it's sort of like, you know, women especially myself and the women that i work with spend so much time being self-critical oh. and not just of our appearance but the choices that we make and the past and the anxiety about the future and just all this negativity and it's just this constant white noise of Bleh. yeah and what your pictures do is is that they're, they're honestly like a tool an opportunity, a chance to, to have just an image that you look at that quiets that and makes you happy about who you are. Like, and what, that is priceless. And I cannot honestly think of a better gift to give someone that you love. Mm. In the last few years, as I've been getting closer to age 50, I have been thinking, I can't believe you are like 24. In yeah, my mind. I, I feel 24, except my knees are starting to feel a little funky. Um, but aside from that, I began to realize that all the criticism that I would have for myself here and there is a waste of fucking time. And I feel like I don't have time to waste time. And I'm not saying that I can't appreciate what it is that women feel when they're struggling with themselves to love themselves. Like I, I do understand all of that, but I hope for the hour or two that we spend together that they can put all of that, get rid of it for a little while and really say, I'm going to see myself as the beautiful person that Sandra keeps telling me I am over the next hour or two, because it is absolutely true. And we deserve to give in to those, those feelings of goodness and love. Amen. Yeah. And, and I think it's important to, to mention too, is they don't have to, they don't have to believe that they're beautiful mm. when they're sitting there, like you'll show them, you know? Yeah. Like they don't have to trust, they don't have to, they don't have to walk in there like, I'm going to be my most beautiful self. Like it's going to be great because that might feel insincere. Yeah. All they need to do is show up and let you take the pictures mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you'll show them. I, I love that you said that because I think it is true. I think it feels very inauthentic if people think they're just going to show up and it's like, hey, I'm here. I'm, hey. I'm, you know, I'm ready to go. Yeah. I actually think the best way to go about it is to do what you said, like come in and, and just be like, I'm kind of nervous. I'm not really sure what to do. Like what, what's next? 
and and you're right i will walk them through the whole experience and it really is just about giving into that and it can be fun and it can be um really transformational it is fun yeah like that's the that's the other thing is you you know, every time I've come into your studio, like I haven't, yes, I'm making an investment in the photographs that I will use for work and, and, and that I will, you know, leave for my grandbabies. But I also really just love the time that I spend with you. Like it's, it's well worth it just to get to hang out with you and watch you do what you do the way that you do it is like its own it's its own form of entertainment. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like jumping around. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the best compliments is when people finish up a photo shoot with me, and especially if they've been very nervous about what's happening um, or was going to happen, and to say, you know what, that was really fun. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It doesn't have to be torture. No. <laughs> Um, on that note, I think that we will wrap up. Is there anything else that you want to add that other women should, should hear? Uh, just that I need to schedule another session. Oh. Well, and so for me, that is like one of the best parts is that I really get to know my clients. Like I've gotten to know you over the years. I mean, I think we have shot four or five times. Mm -hmm. And so every time I get a little note from you, that's like, it's time to do it again. I'm like doing the happy dance, you know? Um, so thank you for that. And thank you for all of your kind words. This has been really, really fun. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah. All right, friends, we're going to wrap it up here. Call me. I want to talk to you and I want to see you. <laughs>